Does random access memory affect FPS and how much random access memory do you actually need for gaming? During gameplay, temporary files need to be frequently stored. The random access memory serves as a storage device for such files where they can be retrieved much faster compared to SSD and HDD. If memory runs out, the temporary files are then stored on the hard drive. And because it's slower than random access memory, your FPS will take a hit. But as soon as you upgrade or increase your random access memory, you will notice an increase in FPS during gameplay. More memory or faster memory. Because your gaming laptop or PC didn't have enough memory to store the files to begin with. The gaming performance and experience drops. The main reason why the question does memory affect FPS or gaming performance comes. To a certain extent, yes, memory does affect FPS or even improves it, and it is truer for laptops with an integrated graphics card or an AMD CPUs. To put it bluntly, more memory will certainly help increase your FPS or gaming performance, but it won't be as much compared to your graphics card and CPU. Also, after a certain amount of memory, the increase in gaming performance becomes negligible. In the case of integrated graphics, the amount of video random access memory it has is directly related to the amount of memory. A laptop with 8GB memory and an integrated graphics card is going to have greater performance than one with 4GB of memory. In the case of dedicated graphics cards, having a small amount of memory, for example 4GB memory is not going to be sufficient for gaming even if your laptop has NVIDIA RTX 2060. You will definitely suffer from gaming performance. Luckily, there are no gaming laptops with such a combination. To put things into perspective, CPU and GPU affects FPS, the most with memory coming in at last. Does memory speed matter for gaming? Memory size or memory speed which is more important? If you are looking to increase your gaming performance by upgrading your memory, you will definitely come across these two. Should you get the 8GB memory with 2133MHz, or another one with the same size but with 2666MHz? Just like the greater amount of memory your gaming laptop has more temporary files it can store. This also applies to the memory speed also known as memory frequency. Memory frequency commonly known as memory speed is the number of commands it can process in a second. The higher the frequency, the less time it takes for the files to be retrieved. If you have a gaming laptop, memory speed is not that important if you are looking to upgrade because the video memory on your dedicated graphics card is going to be utilized more than the memory on your actual gaming laptop. There won't be a lot of performance difference between memories with different frequencies coming from the same DDR family. But if you decide to build your own PC budgeting for a faster memory, will reap the greatest return on investment, especially if you are going the AMD Ryzen build. There is also the case of dual-channel memory, which can greatly improve gaming performance. To fully benefit from memory speed, your CPU has to be fast enough to go through the files stored in the memory. Will more memory make your PC faster? Imagine this, one hundreds of people enter a room with several entrances and only one exit. The room is always going to be crowded. Now, what if the room had a lot of entrances? Chances are it will never be crowded. Now the exit is the CPU and the entrance and room are the memory. If the processing speed of the CPU is not high enough, it is always going to be that way for the memory, a room full of people. That is how CPU is very important and something you should consider you going for memory speed. Honestly, memory speed is not that important in gaming laptops compared to PC builds for gaming. How much memory do you need for gaming? 8GB, 16GB or 32GB? Back in the day, 4GB of memory was sufficient to multitask and play games. Presently, that's not the case because applications are very demanding, heating large amounts of memory to run smoothly. Insufficient memory can hurt the performance of your laptop. These days, you need at least 8 gigabytes minimum of memory to sufficiently run games smoothly and might not cut it most of the time. Just look at Arkham Knight, you need 12 gigabytes of memory required for smooth gameplay, and that was a few years ago. And it is not the only game. Just Cause 3, Dead Rising 3, etc. Currently, 16 gigabytes of memory is a sweet spot to run games. You won't suffer major performance issues and increasing the amount of memory won't have that much effect on the performance. But if you are looking to future-proof things, 32 gigabytes is the recommended amount of memory you need for gaming. Having that amount of memory will remove all doubts from your mind. You will literally experience peace of mind because you won't need to worry about if your memory is enough. It also helps in video editing since such tasks chew up a lot of memory. 
64 GB memory is somewhat overkill unless you are a big-time video content creator. Having a lot of memory will definitely help you finish large projects faster. To sum it all up, 4 GB is not sufficient anymore for gaming unless you only open Chrome tabs, Word documents, and less demanding tasks. 8 GB used to be the sweet spot, but not anymore. 16 GB is the new sweet spot. 32 GB for large video editing projects or serious high-resolution gaming. Will more memory help FPS? Random access memory really does affect FPS in gaming performance, but only happens if you have an insufficient amount to begin with. Also, after reaching a certain amount of memory, the increase in performance becomes negligible. The only exception is video editing or rendering where having large amounts of memory is definitely an advantage if your budget is able to cover it. If I helped you, then I ask you to subscribe to the channel and like this video. This motivates me to create new useful videos. I ask you not to ignore this.